Now we're just saying, now we're wondering, I was just saying, that is the James Bond name. Yes, I'm doing the James Bond films. I'm starting off with Daniel Craig, and I'm working backwards from there. I know it's, I know you always go forwards, but with the Bond films, you kind of, the, the films don't really connect on each other, so this is the only series where they, or all four films connect. So yeah, um, and, and you're wondering, why did I not go with Sean Connery, or Roger Moore, or Timothy Dalton? Well, it's because James Bond is because this, this, this film is the most re recent Bond series, so it's the most relevant to this time right now. Alright? Now, that's what I'm doing. Now, if you're wondering, what I have off screen, or what's, what I'm about to show you, well, it's one of my prized favorite Lego collections. I got this a couple of years ago for Christmas. It's one of my favorite cars, and I'm going to buy one when I have enough money. My dream car is this. Now you're asking me, what is this? Well, I just showed you an Aston Martin DB50. The same vehicle that James Bond drives. Now, it's the, it's the one from Goldfinger. It's the classic. You see nowadays, you see, the, you see an Aston Martin and it's all like sleek. But this is the one that you need. The one with, with the, uh, when, when there's miniguns underneath the headlights, you know? That's a get through traffic. <laughs> one of my favorite vehicles of all time. Best vehicle. No, get, no, getting back on track. Um, why do I like Casino Royale? One word. One. Daniel Craig in this movie plays much more of a, a serious role. It's not like, um... He's less womanizing than, uh... <laughs> you rewatch Sean Connery or, um... Or Roger Moore, and then you start realizing, Oh, that didn't age well. Oh, yes. That did not age well. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the older days of me that won't work today, which I'm glad they fixed. <laughs> one here is more polite. In my opinion, he's more polite in these ones than he is in the rest of the series. In the rest of the other bonds that came before him. I think that those are bad, but... Yeah. Uh, but going again, 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 to Casino Royale, um, one of my favorite chases is in the beginning, when, um... When he's chasing this one guy, and they're... And he's doing all this parkour, and... And this Bond's just, like, barreling through it, not even doing part before, but there's one guy, like, jumping over, like, stuff. It's, it's very fast. It's one of my favorite, um, chase scenes ever. And, like, done in, like, a way where it was, like, one shot, but it's not. And it's very interesting and well done. Um, the guy did, actually didn't need a stunt double. He actually did this stuff. I don't know about James Bond, but, meh. Uh, and then go, going back to what it, and then going back to the song, which is Know My Name, which is a really good song. I highly recommend it. It's called Know My Name by Jack White. It's really good. Um, yeah. <laughs> the song is just so good. Um, it's one of my favorite Bond themes. Um, next to No Time to Die by Billie Eilish. And, and, um, Another Way to Die. Another Way to Die is also good. A lot of people don't like Another Way to Die, but I kind of like it. Uh, and then Skyfall is also one of my favorites. What I'm saying is, in my opinion... It goes from Rush for Love, which is the second Bond movie song. Okay, okay, well, I don't know why I'm talking about the theme. Sorry if I got sidetracked. But the, all the Bond themes are good. I, um, there's a playlist I listen to called Bond Themes Playlist. It has all the playlists, and they're really good. Because if you watch them in order, they go from jazz to modern day music, and it's so interesting. Yeah, I highly recommend you do that. Um, my favorite one would have to be Live and Let Die. And you're asking me, wait, is that an actual song? Yes, it is. And it's the name of the day, the Bond film. It's really good. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm getting centered by all of our Jane Bonds, but I'm just that I'm so happy because I remember watching these Jane Bond movies when I was in second grade. Like, I was watching Dr. No and From Much Love. I watched all of them until Roger Moore, and then Roger Moore got married into the women. And I was too young for that. <laughs> But now as I've gotten older, I think if I watched it now, I could have handled it more. But when I was a kid, I only just wanted to watch it in the action scenes. Yeah. That was me.
And then you're asking me, okay, so uh, why am I talking about this film and not the other ones? Well, it's because this film, I really think that this film is one of my favorite ones. I will give you one, I will give you a couple of reasons. I really like the opening tasting, as I recently discussed. I really like, in my mind, one of my favorite um, Bond, one of my favorite intense scenes would have to be the gambling table. Where they're playing, like, where, where, cause, like, it's called a casino royale, cause he has to win money away from a terrorist in a, in a casino. And it's really interesting watching him and the guy, which is Blofeld, which is not no, Blofeld, which is really great, because the guy is so intimidating. And the guy who plays him is really intimidating. And it's very interesting. Um, um, I, her name's, uh, the love interest is really interesting. I don't really want to call them a love interest, because at first it's not really a love interest, and then it grows into a relationship. Okay, this is a bit of a spoiler, but there is an action scene, and then she runs off in fear. Now, you're asking me why. Well, it's because she's never seen combat before, so she freaks out. And originally, the scene was going to be her in her undergarments, but uh, but they changed it to her in her clothes, because the, the scene is, is that she is in the shower trying to get off all the blood because she just went to someone die. By the hands of Bond, and Bond comforts her in the shower, and and, and to me that speaks to his emo more emotional side, and how he's less likely a faceless killer, which he which he is throughout the scene, and then when he gets that scene, and then there's a scene that hurts me the most. I'm not saying what I'm just saying. There's a scene where John, where Jane Bond gets tortured in a way that all if you have certain if you know your human biology and you know where the man and you know where it hurts the most for a man to get hit, he gets hit there multiple times. That's all I'm saying. Now, if you don't know, I, I'm not saying I'm just saying that because of YouTube's safety thing. But there's that scene. Yeah, I, I'm glad I watched that when I was older because I, I I also was going to see that scene. Uh, yeah. So that's Casino Royale. I know why I, I don't know why I didn't know that scene. But that's one of my favorite movies. Uh, I really love all the action. He's a lot more brutal in this movie than he is in other movies. Like he's a lot more like there's a lot more intensity. Probably because now they have better like because now all the violence is actually inter I, I don't know why. But it's really good. Uh next film will be the next film in the series, which will be um, Quantum of Solace, which is also on Netflix. So I highly recommend you watch that as well. Um, yeah, anything else? Oh, 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 you're, okay, so you're wondering why I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently. Well, because I just got to know about finals, and I've been addicted to Spotify. <laughs> I've been addicted to Audible. Most importantly, Stephen King books. Don't worry, I'm going to be doing some Stephen King movie reviews. I already did one with it in, in, in chapter two. That video did really well. No worry, I am going to do The Shining. I just, I just got to read the, <coughs> read the book for it. I also, I'm right now listening to Misery, so when I watch that movie, the the review for that will come out as soon as I'm done reading listening to the book, and listening and watching the movie. I already did that for Christine, so that review will come out soon. I just got to do some more research on it, so yeah. And you're wondering why I, I, I just been busy with college, you know, I, I'm going to community college, it's on quarter system, so really, it's like, when it's, when it, when it's time for me to focus on school, I gotta focus, so that's why. But yeah, that, that's been my, uh, that's been my review for Casino Royale, I mean, it's really good, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying anything that much about the plot, because the plot's so well done, I mean, I highly recommend you guys just watch it, because, like, so good. <laughs> In my opinion, you should watch Casino Royale. Uh, Quantum of Solace, I am going to watch that. And then after Quantum of Solace, I'm going to do Skyfall and then Spectre and then No Time to Die. Alright, that's uh, been my... Okay, and then uh, one more thing to just top it all off before we close out is... <laughs> this movie is so well done. And there's one scene where he does a barrel roll. James Bond does a barrel roll in a car. 
Yeah. It's really good. The action is well paced. Well, that's a 